Hi, this is John with Soft Cell Electrical School, and today we're going to install a 50 amp dedicated outlet for a home kiln. A 50 amp kiln, it's a large kiln, and this is it. The first thing to note is what kind of receptacle we're going to need. The ground is on the top. You have one large and one smaller leg for the receptacle. And they're straight up and down instead of being angled. So when you plug into the wall, your 50 amp receptacle that you use is going to need the larger prong on the left, the smaller prong on the right, and the neutral or the ground on the top. This is the panel we're going into and if you notice up there there are two open stabs for a 50 amp receptacle. Let's take this cover off now. This is the inside of the panel and we're going to be hooking on to those two stabs right there and then the wires are going to come down into this little access port. This is that same port and basically what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole right about here or actually right about there and then mount the service box just opposite of that. I drilled a test hole and that is the length of the nipple I'm going to need to connect the service panel with the box. It's going to be a hard connection so that there's no exposed wire to anything combustible. Okay, what are we going to need for this project? Starting at the panel, we're going to need a 50 amp breaker. We're going to come through with a riser. I got two different size risers because I'm not sure exactly how long I need to go then meeting that riser is going to be a box okay and then we're going to need lockdown washers to connect the riser to the panel and then a bushing to keep the wire from being shaved we need our 50 amp receptacle and then they didn't have any self tapping screws so we're going to use threaded screws and go all the way through into the panel and basically bolt this to the panel for an extra tight fit. Now this is where I'm going to go through with the hole and this is a unit bit so I need to drill this out so that this three quarter inch goes through there. there we have it. And we do the same thing on this side. Except it goes through like butter. Now the knockout on this box is not big enough. So we're going to do the same thing to this box that we did to the panel. And there we have it. Now this nipple alone is a good anchor, but we're going to anchor it with two more bolts. And then we drill all the way through the panel. And then line up those screws. Okay, you can see the screws are in on this side. And they're threaded through all the way through on this side. Four. This is a plastic bushing that keeps chafing from the wires hitting the metal. And we're going to put the same kind of bushing on um, 
this side. Okay, we've got the outlet installed and um, we're going to go through now to the other side and feed the wires up into the panel here. Don't like that. So you pull it back, you take that kink out. So we're going to go ahead and button this on up. Okay, I'm now going to connect my neutral to the neutral bar. And I want to take that almost all the way out and then put it back in. There's my neutral. And in it goes. Kind of a snug fit, but that's good. And then we cinch that on down. That's the first of three connections. Okay, now we're going to take our 50 amp breaker and we're going to connect it to the um, two 120 volt legs, which gives you 240 volts. And then I like to use a flat tip screwdriver to really put the Kung Fu Whammy Death Grip tightening on it. And we're going to put it right in that stab there. These lock into here. And you can, you can just, you get a feel for it after a while and then you just take a screwdriver pop that in and what I like to do is neatly fold my wires into the panel once I'm finished and there you have it now the only thing I have left to do is to put the panel cover back on and before I do that I would like to remind people that this is for educational purposes only and only a qualified electrician should attempt this. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and put the panel cover on. And when you put a panel cover on, you don't know what people have on inside the house. So you want to be careful that you don't chirp any of these breakers when you're putting the cover back on. Now as a general rule, everybody does it differently, but I put this screw in first and after that it's pretty random. I shut that down. And this has been another quality tutorial by Soft Cell Electrical. Please feel free to browse all of my tutorials because you can always learn something about electricity. Thanks and have a great day.